Hello, welcome to unboxing. I mean, I'm going to assume you know what we're unboxing if you click the link. I'm not going to lie, but um, <laughs> and it's staring you in the face. It's right there for a reason. But in case you don't know and somehow have got here without reading a title, um, and are now not watching the video but are instead listening to it, which I'm genuinely impressed by, um, we've been unboxing for Fallout Wasteland Warfare, which is a new thing. We'll get more information about that in a minute because I know next to nothing about it. Destai. <laughs> Sponsor, Woo. makers of awesome chainmail, good things, um, life like key rings and dice bags and rings and necklaces and bracelets and all the sorts of fun, awesome things you want there. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. You can click on that to go and um, browse the various wares um, and buy stuff because it's pretty cool. Chainmail is awesome. Um, there will also be in the description below. Um, a link to um, the donation page for our 2018 fundraiser. Um, at this point, it will most likely have already happened, uh, which goes you go watch the VOD over at twitch.tv forward slash phone gaming forward slash videos forward slash all. Um, uh, we did 48 hours of board and tabletop gaming to raise money for Mind Mental Health Charity because they do fantastic work in supporting sufferers of mental, with mental health problems, supporting those around those who suffer and sort of raising awareness, removing the stigma, this, that, blah, blah, blah. They're awesome. Um, so you can go watch that uh, and donations are still open. If you are able to donate any amount, it's helpful. You can donate at fernigaming.com forward slash FR18. There you go. <laughs> you're, you're, you're quite finished now. That's me. You? That's me. Done. So, for those of you that watch the salute video, we played this, and I did say I had a copy on pre-order, and we'd do an unboxing. And lo and behold, here we are, and here it is. Um, not gonna lie, wasn't expecting it just yet, because <laughs> I didn't get a confirmation email of like delivery or anything. It just appeared. Boing. Yes, is a box. Just, it was just there was just a box. I'm like. Oh. I've only got one thing on order, so I know what this is, but I'm still surprised that it's that thing. <laughs> and then probably had to come here to film Doom to Dice and then go to work, so I didn't really get to touch it. So here we are. Touching it. Touch. Um, that was straight. Okay, so yes. Um, so what I got was the two player starter set and some other goodies, but we'll get to these a bit later. So you're let's not, you're not allowed to see them yet. <laughs> move these there. Mm -hmm. They're going to live there. I'm going to start with this bastard. Oh god! If I forget that's there, I'm sorry. Uh, you know. Oh, it's the tight fit box. Oh. oh, oh. Um, so what I know of this game from when we played it is it's sort of an RPG, sort of a tabletop skirmish. Yes, it's, sort of it's, thing. It's, it's trying to. Um, Bring the video game to life on a tabletop, but at the same time, add in like sort of standard tabletop 40k esque elements to kind of yeah. get a wider audience, I guess. Um, yes, it's, it's, it's a game that could be played in multiple ways. Yes, so there we are. There's a robot for you to swallow. <laughs> I have to say, that smells <laughs> amazing. Yeah! Oh. Look at all of them! Oh wow, what? Look at all of them! <laughs> That's a lot of bloody tokens and shit to punch out. That's mm. going to be fun. Let's have them sits. Eh. Game mat. That's a nice expect unexpected thing. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I oh, wasn't expecting that. that. That's fucking cool that's as really dicks. Cool. Holy shit, that's big. And it's one-sided. There we are. Yeah. And there's a second half to that. There is. Yes. Yeah, so, so I'll just unfold the second half, which mm. is... Right. Oh, it's got a curve. Nice. <laughs> it's a road with a curve. Alright, here we go. You so I think the book I gave you... Ah, this one goes at the top. Yeah, it does. I see how it, how it goes. There we like go. That. Boom! To make a nice 4x4. Four four. Yeah. That's not going to stay. Yeah, well, once we put things on it, it'll stay. Yeah. So, things. right, okay, so now we're all, all of the all Oh the god, there's a lot of books. <laughs> Yeah, we'll bring sense. it across. Now you can see the, the. Which actually, I mean, how's it doing? Do you want it just like one this, side? Like, sort of um, one half. 
We probably should just do the one just half. I'm one not half. gonna lie, that's, that's alright. But um, I'd say this is pretty good quality for what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's nice and thick. Yeah. We do like it thick. <laughs> <laughs> you want? No, uh, I'll slide this over here. Yes. Sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, so to go through the literature, we've got that. I think is the standard. That's the basics. Looks like it. This is how to. Yeah. You're special. Oh yeah. Tutorials. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Definitely yeah. So like that's the start. that's very much the. That's the intro. That's the this, intro. This, this how you play games. And then you've got this one, which is the standard how to play a game, as in how to shoot each other and just <laughs> do standard 40k esque. You roll low, not high. You roll low, not high. <laughs> Um, and then, this is the important one, Yes. because this is the way we want to play it. So this is the campaign handbook, so this is going to be how to run it in more of a D&D style RPG, which Interesting. is essentially what it's designed to do from the get-go. This is more of like a, a secondary mode. Yeah, it was it was made to be the RPG and they, they went, let's make it a skirmish game too. <laughs> yeah, seeing as... Uh, I have to say, those books are surprisingly thin. Yes. <laughs> I look forward to eating them. Yeah, be easy. No, we swallow. need them to read. <laughs> <laughs> you swallow them yeah. one, it's fine. Yeah, it won't take me. The, the, the size of those, it won't take me long to read through it at all. Not gonna lie, wasn't expecting these models to be one piece. That's fantastic. Oh. I didn't know they were an anime. Oh, you're funny. Shut up. Oh dear. Oh <laughs> dear. 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 Um. <laughs> all right. So let's start with. You and you and you. No. Okay. So. I. That's a. That's definitely dog meat. That is dog meat. I actually have dog meat. And Did dog meat looks like he's sticking back on there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to re-glue him to that base because he's sort of he's uh, a bit of a bum angle. I don't know if I do that. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up at all. Nah. No. Just put you there. He's a little bit. He's a little bit wobbly, but that's not all that surprising considering. And then. <laughs> Yeah, because I went for I think I went for the PVC starter set into the resin one because I thought I can't be fucked with resin when it breaks. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so yeah, and that is Nora. Yeah, that's the sole survivor. So that's the, basically yeah. the, the standard protagonist you can play in Fallout Four, the video game. Um, obviously, without any uh, character customization on it. But there we go. Main character and dog and dog companion. Dog. Dog companion. Such good. such plastic. Much wow. <laughs> If I remember rightly, these guys should be, they are basic settlers. Yes? You got it on the base at all? Um, does it sound on the base? No, it just says 2017 Bethesda Softworks, which makes sense. No. Oh, all right. There we go. Could be used as either Minutemen or Settlers or what have you. So they're pretty nice miniatures. Yeah, well they've gone for, weirdly enough, they've gone for 32 millimeter rather than 28. Yeah, that's weird. So they are slightly bigger. Yeah, they're going to say they're bigger than 40k. Which is they are. Their they are. Like, like slightly. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's yeah. But it's still, um, it still works. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <sighs> those those look like they've got a lot more detail than these ones do. That might just be the color though. Might just be the color. So let's do him first. So we, we have these detailed as shit. A a brohood dude in some T60 power armor. Who is firing a laser rifle one-handed? Is that a? That's a rifle. Yeah. Laser rifle with with scope. Interesting. From the hip. If only we could do that in the actual game. He's he's literally being a space marine. <laughs> yeah. I've got a bolt gun with a scope, but I'm gonna go <laughs> down there. Yeah. For whatever reason. There we go. Because, well, there. I mean, because space marines they have targeting trees in their yeah, in I know. I've never understood why a bolt gun's got a scope. Yeah. Why, why anything they have has a scope? They don't need it. They have a scope on Unless their lens. Scout. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna just play with the dice. You. you <laughs> I understand dice. Didn't hit me yeah. minutes. I, I know what dice are. I know how they run and they work. Yeah, the green ones. Yeah, here we go. Big green bastards. Cause we got some super mutants. Yeah. There we are. So, oh, did you? <laughs> is that the Max? Oh wow! <laughs> no, Liam. <laughs> I rolled a crit. You fucker. <laughs> it's not even. A, is that D twenty? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I that think is. that's the one logo though, because you got to roll low. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, because the exclamation mark is the extra action. Yeah, I just crit. 
Of course you would. Or an eight. There we go. Yeah. You rolled a. You there you go. Well, you rolled a crit as well. There we go. All right. It's <laughs> typical. Anyway, so super mutants. Super mutants. Well, I, I think that's supposed to be a super mutant brute, and then yep. these are standard. So yeah, yeah, I was a standard mm. one. Yeah, definitely. I do remember there being a brute in the thing because his hammer hit hard. His hammer did yeah. fucking hit hard, but didn't get through your power armor because. No. But then well. it doesn't in the video games. That's so kind of kind of accurate. You need yeah. a super mutant master to really bring down a bring down a Brotherhood paladin. Yes. Um, they've also got. Dogs. Mutant hounds. Yeah, lovely. Such mutant, much dogs. They taste disgusting, they, they. but they get rid of radiation. So mutant hound meat is pretty decent in the video game. I don't know what it yeah, is. They're bloody so good. Good, All of it. Really All of it. it smells amazing. Right. They're Sam, really, really can, I, can I scare the shit out of you now? Why? No! Because I've got a death That's claw. It. Oh my god, amazing. I have a motherfucking death claw. It came with a death claw. That's, That's so good. That's a small death claw as well. Yeah, it is. That is not that big. It's that. still big though in terms of... He's hunched the over. The rest of them. Yeah, but there are bigger ones. <laughs> He's actually... Uh, I, I, guess it, I, guess it, I guess it must be the colour, because he does look a lot more detailed than the other the other green things do. Possibly, yeah. Hmm. Um, I, well, yeah. the hounds look pretty good. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not saying they're, they're not yeah. bad. Just at, at, at first glance, mm. they don't look... I guess it just looks weird in green. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's so, a really realise I came with the death claw. To give you some context, in the Fallout universe there's a thing called FEV, which is Force Evolutionary Virus. Cool. And it's caused them. Yep. Right, so they were people once. Yep. Go through FEV, because the idea was they'd make weird super soldiers that you can't really kill. Before before the nuclear apocalypse, while they were actually still fighting China normally. Yeah. That was that was one of their little Project and I think the Death Claw was a product of FEV, but it was done on. It was off lizards, wasn't it? So it was done it, on something were, else, yeah, not it was, it, was rept, it was reptiles that I think were mutated. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it was. There's a there's in Fallout Three. There's a terminal in one of the Enclave camps that appears that actually details where they think all of these mutated in, uh, animals came from, from, like rad roaches and myalurks and. All of them, and you can read through it and go, "Oh, that's what they're supposed to be. Oh, yeah. that's what they once were." Yeah. Right. I found that terminal once yeah. in all of my <laughs> hours of playing Fallout Three, which I've a hundred percented Fallout Three. I have all the trophies. I have the platinum trophy. I've got all the DLC trophies. I've spent a lot of time in that game. I found that terminal once. I can't fully remember where it is. Amazing. So that come from like lizards. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. It's essentially a dinosaur. It's it is just, essentially it's a, dinosaur. a big, scary dinosaur. So I wonder if they ever turn like a Komodo dragon into one. Oh, you in? Well, kind of. Well, because I know well, not Komodo dragon, but there was in New Vegas. You did have geckos that were just running. Geckos. <laughs> and they were hilarious. So that's probably your closest to it in <laughs> a way. If that's if that's what like a standard lizard turns into, and I know. Death Claws, I, I don't know anything about Fallout Universe, but I know Death Claw. <laughs> I know the term Death Claw, and I know the fear it enacts yep. people. I'm just thinking, why the fuck do they do that on Komodo dragons? Yeah, I don't Komodo know. dragons are already terrifying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think fat, blubby, blubbery bastards, though. I don't know. I, yeah, oh, I forget the specific. Really fast. I forget the specific. I'm sure it's online, but you can yeah, find maybe it specific. Find it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The Fallout wiki's pretty decent. Um. No, I remember the first time I ever came across a Death Claw in Fallout 3. Yeah, it's I know where I was in the map. I know, like, what was going on. Because I just heard the... <laughs> and then a smack! And I just, like, lost half my health in one hit and, went and like, jumped forwards a bunch. I'm like, what the fuck was that? I turn around to see that thing just looming over me. I'm like, yeah. oh. It's like the, I'm um, a high enough level to encounter you fuck faces now. That's a problem. The funny ones that I always get is when people have taken photos of it where they're, they're like mid dialogue with someone and they talk to someone and there's a death claw over yeah. the, uh, the NPC's shoulder and you're just looking at this death claw <laughs> face, but it's paused. Yeah, but it's you're just like, oh, as soon as I come out of this, I've got to fight that thing. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. March, March. Oh, fucking yeah, funny. So we have one more model in the starter set, which is a fun little promo model. Which is a fantastic little Easter egg. Oh, they all tend together. Okay, do you want to start on? I will, yeah. I will, I will shred We've the got plastic. packs of cards. So we also have a Zetan no alien. No way! Yeah! <laughs> this was a whole DLC in, in Fallout 3, and mm. you can find crashed spaceships. 
And there's still uh, one in, in four as well. There is there? one in four because yeah. you get the alien blaster from yeah. it. Um, and that is actually a modified alien blaster. Because yeah, he's, he's got, got the extended, scope. he's got also got the extended barrel on it. Yeah. So that's a modified alien blaster. That's going to be interesting to find out what they can do as well. Man. Well, I've got his stat card right yeah. there. So there we go. I've got a little, I've got an alien as well. And you can find them in in New Vegas. There isn't a crash ship, but if you take the Wild Wasteland perk, yeah. There's a little plateau towards the north of the edge of the map, which has a bunch of mercenaries on it normally, and they shoot at you. And if you kill them, you get a unique Gorse rifle. Mm. But if you take the wait, uh, wild wasteland perk, it turns into aliens, and then you can get an alien blaster that way. I never took that perk. Oh, it's because it, it, it is meant to make going. everything more gory, but more goofy as well. And Not necessarily more gory, it? but it was you random, find some wasn't funny it? little Easter eggs yeah. in there. Like there's a there's a there's a Indiana Jones hat on a skeleton in a bathtub. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've got all the stack cards for everything here. So I'm going to see if I can remember everything. Strength is many weapons per, I can't remember what that stands for, but that was shooting and sh thing. I don't remember end. I don't remember car. Charisma. Strength, it's, it's perception, special. endurance, oh, charisma, endurance. intelligence, agility, luck. luck cool. As in, special. Your special. They're your special stats. Oh! That's what special stands for. Oh, it means something now. Yes. Right. And Bing! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you literally you start every Fallout game with basically doing your special stats. So. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And those things at the bottom were they the armor values? That's the armor, uh, something and radioactive it's energy. It's, oh, it's ballistic yeah. and energy and radiation. Yeah. yeah. So endurance uh, is health, essentially. Yeah. It's hit points really. Uh, damage you could take in this. I like the way they've done the cards, make it look like they've actually been already... Sort of weathered slightly? Yeah, yeah, yeah but they're yeah. not. That's really amazing. So that's the alien? That's the alien. Yeah. yeah. And those just, just, those are the... Oh, um, interesting. Huh? Soul Survivor, but then Soul Survivor... What's the other thing? Day one. Day one. Oh, what's the difference? Oh, so it's just lower stats, basically. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess, I guess, because I guess this just is climbed out of the vault. Because yeah. you would be playing this in the game and be leveling up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So that's, but that's I'll probably campaign. be fucking around with that, and you might yeah. need your own stack card that you change a bunch. Mm. So then we've got. Oh, that's what you are. Okay, so you're a settler. Because there's your card. That guy, enslaved tech. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. I don't know. He looks like a raider, so he's going to end up being used as a raider. <laughs> dog me! Get up, dog, dog me! Mutant hounds! Super mutants! There's the super That's mutant. The broom. The broom. And that one's yeah. called an aviator. I guess because he's got a. Because the aviator. He's just got a cap, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's enough to differentiate him, apparently. There's the death claw. And then mm. we have. The he's not even a knight or a paladin, he's an aspirant. How on earth have you got a suit of T60 mm. if you're only an aspirant? Weird. There we go. Stat cards! Oh. I'm, just, I'm just comparing the stats of the guy in power armor to the death claw because I remember how hard the death the power armor dude was to kill. Oh, it's right. not a bad so idea. Gonna, although, he doesn't actually have the power armor there, does he? Equipped T60. Because mm -hmm. there was a, a separate... But there was a separate card for power armor, so it's probably in that equipment. I was going to say, yeah, that's, yeah, that's his standard stats. Power armor. Uh, this... So obviously you can play solo. You can play against an AI. Oh, that's how the AI work. This appears to be the AI cards. Ah, there we go. So it's just a, a three by three grid. I'm sure I'll learn what the letters do. Yeah, that's going to be in this book. I want to say huh. what like M is move, A is attack, and then there's A and F. No, uh, o, o and, and F. F is Oaf. Yeah. One know. nearest, one wounded, we oh, Okay, that's that's the whole thing to that's learn. Gonna, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gonna take a while. Uh, and then those are the remaining cards there, which are actions. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's, yeah, I see. They're the they're, they're quick reference do. cards. Yes. Yep. Right there, we go. I got into this thing. Jesus Christ, these are cards are packed very well. Plastic. There's a lot of so, them. Let's get those heroic cards because there's less of them. All right, now I believe these are like advances you can give to make uh, a thing a character. Again, oh, it's it's going to be a case yeah, of learning what all of these symbols mean. I see what a poorly closer there. That's definitely luck, luck. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, there's a whole bunch of different. You can see the different colours 
Mm. Yeah. There's a whole different That's all deck. equipment and shit. That's, yeah, there's so you many decks. Leave that there as a thing, I, I think. This is oh, handy geez. delivery part one. Oh, these must be quests. Explore. Okay, so those might be encounter cards. Let's see. Split them. Someone needs help. The caravan's master is up. Oh no, up go to away, their chest in oozing quicksand when you arrive. Do you risk helping the stranger back to solid ground? That sounds like Preston asking you for that. It says, what's that dog meat? So I think the dog oh. finds it. God, yeah, you got Yeah, these, these, are, right? these are just random encounters. You got yeah, I say, these, that's these, these also that's seem that's to be like funky. random encounters with rewards on the back. Yeah, you got events, leader, perks. Are okay. oh, you got perks? Yeah. Yeah, there's danger. There's, there's a whole bunch of danger. That that boosts. Oh, weather. Sort of. With other stuff. Mm. Oh, fucking Travis. It's fucking goddamn. And then there's least the favourite radio DJ, by far. Yeah. Then there's Travis. A sucks. whole bunch of items. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. I, I figured that was all going to be all the odds and sods deck. So that's the starter set. Yeah. All all of the bits. That's. All the basics oh, to play a game. Because I didn't pick up the rest of the dice. Dice! And dice, obviously. <laughs> Which are to do with um, the weapons that you use. <laughs> yeah, some of them got on the camera. <laughs> um, I've completely. I'm going to have to rewatch that salute video because I've completely forgotten what's good and what's not. Um, there was. So. Because you have to roll low. So yeah. minus. modifiers minus. That was uh, armor piercing. And that was a crit. If I remember rightly, these were Vax dice, so these were for heroic characters only. To yep. See if they got extra yeah. actions. extra actions. Yep. Or were able to use the extra actions or something? It's, uh, you had to use the extra. You could use them to do specific things. Um, and then uh, each weapon has like a okay, or um, not just weapon characters as well had like different dice that you use with different rolls mm -hmm. um, to do add modifiers and whatnot to it. So. I sort of vaguely remember. I'm gonna have to rewatch the uh, yeah, salute I'm, video. I'm, I'm gonna just read the rules. You can do that. <laughs> you're you, you like reading. My problem is, is I read a rule and I go, I think I know how that works. And but once I've shown how it works in actual practice, and then I go, oh, I get it now. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Burr, I don't no, know I, 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 I fully get it, but yeah, I'm reading many rules at the moment. <laughs> yeah, 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 you really are. Um, yeah, I mean. We, I just say I still want to run a campaign of this on camera, but it's not for a while yet. So it'll be. Yeah. I definitely want to just play some standard games just to get the mechanics down first before oh, I right, jump yes. into other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that's everything in the starter set. So I also got a um, funky little promo model that came with the with the pre-order. So this is this is pre-order bonus, and it's one model. And. Oh, that's gonna require. But yeah, that one actually does. She does need gluing on her own base, but she has her own stack card, I think. By the way, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, it should just be a fold up from the back, shouldn't it? Should be. There you go. There we go. There we go. Oh, she got a whole bunch of stuff. This yeah, is all yeah, stuff yeah. that has to do with the other piece of paper as well. Though. Blank AI card. A filled in AI card, and then mm -hmm. the actual the actual stack. It's it's different. It's different material. Is it really? <laughs> what? Oh, weird. Oh, weird. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's okay. like the other kind of cardboard you get. Yeah. That's funny. All right. Um, so yeah, I have Nuka Girl. <laughs> She's classed as a survivor. They so see that. for those that played the Nuka World DLC. She's like the the mascot to the Nuka Cola Company, and she's in the 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 space bit, the roller coaster ride in the space mm -hmm. bit. It's just That's a, pretty cool. And you can get her outfit at the end of it, which yeah. I then put on Piper. Of course, you <laughs> of would. course I did. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, yes. Yeah, Piper's an amazing companion. She is. And some other stuff for her. Yeah. Items. Special items. The Zapper, Zapper gun. Girl. That makes sense. Yeah. An actual the, Nuka Cola. That's yeah, like, that's a common yeah. item you can find everywhere. A uh, Nuka Cherry. Yeah. 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 Innocent binder, oh, bystander screaming, "No, please, no! Don't kill me! No help!" <laughs> the secret elixir. Part Phantom. one and the secret elixir part two. Ooh. They do oh, things. I if, don't know what. If that's, that's if that's who I think it is. It is. <laughs> There's a there's a there's a quest in Fallout Three, and there's this there's this town called Gerda Shade, right? 
Um, mm -hmm. And it's just two shacks and a Brahmin pen. Brahmin are like cows, cows with two heads. Cool. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They they <laughs> use they use as pack caravans. They use as meat. They're just like the thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, there's two shacks and a Brahmin pen underneath this section of highway that's still intact. Mm -hmm. And there's one dude and there's one girl. And this girl is just obsessed with Nuka Cola. She has like Nuka Cola everything. Okay. Like it's her museum. And she and the quest she sends for you is to go and get 30 bottles of Nuka Cola Quantum. I think that quest is called the Secret Elixir. And then she appears in Fallout 4 at Nuka World. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, because when I saw her, I went, oh my god, I know this person. Um, but yes, so I have the model with her own stat card and everything, and then she also came with her own scenario, like an actual like little piece of paper denoting yeah. a special scenario, which, as you discovered when you read this before we started, it's just a film set. Yeah, she's just <laughs> on a film set. <laughs> Makes and sense. She her. is is making a advert. That is that is it. She is making an advert. There is her and the things she's against are called extras. <laughs> it could be anything. They are just extras. <laughs> it could be anything. Uh, so um, I, th I think it says what the extras are supposed oh, to yeah. be, but they're referred to as extras because they are... Um... Do, boo, boo, boo. Oh, it doesn't say No, it doesn't. Oh, they just have... They it just says extras. It says something about they have like 300 caps to spend on stuff. On the, on the It is on the page before. It might be in... Production, blah, 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 extra player, extra player, so it's 300 caps worth of models. They can ca ca only carry melee weapon. They literally can be anything. There we go. So I'm assuming they use, they've used caps for points. Yes. Which yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, caps, um, caps are points. Now, I think. So that's the promo model. That's the free promo model I got. I also went a bit above and got, as I said, some extra goodies at the beginning of this video. So stick into them. That's what we want to start with. That one, I want that one. Boston Companions, because I thought, yes, let's have some named characters from the video game. Nice. And they are, yeah, these guys oh, are all, these guys are all assembly good, required yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, <clears throat> right, that's all their cards in one hit, and that's all the models in one hit. So that's fun. All right, so those of you that played the video game, I've got Piper, I've got Kate, and I've got... You've got the uh, Institute guy, the X... The Corsa X... X his name. Shit. It must have... X688 X688, Thank you. Yeah. 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 I open to a random card. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> 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 yeah, all the, all the all Institute synths have cool. those kind of designations. Yeah. You never know who the fuck is who. Yeah. Um, so these are their three companions you can have um, in the game who will follow you around and carry your shit and shoot shit with you. Sweet. And get in the way of your bullets, but there's just a just perk like, that disables friendly fire essentially, so that's all good. <laughs> but, but Kate and Piper are good. Yeah. They use standard, so I would say. Very true. <laughs> I've not really used X6, to be honest. Even though yeah, I have done an Institute playthrough, I've not. Um... Oh, there are the other, other material as well. Okay. Oh, weird. weird. So, AI oh, well. cards for all three of them, plus a blank spare one. Just I, I assume there's a reason for the blank ones. Because you get blank cards in every set, just in case you lose one. Yeah. So there we go. There's all the stack cards for them. Mm -hmm. These ones you have to put them Yeah, I'll have to well. glue them onto a base. Yeah. I think. I think all of these are going to be yeah. glueable, just depending yeah, yeah, yeah. on the size of the books. And then they've got their own items and special things oh. that don't mean much yet, but will be in things. All of those. Okay. So those are encounter things. Yeah, more encounter type things. Perks, special perks. Boost. Like a shadow. Okay then. Well, they have letters as well, so I wonder if that's part of the AI thing. Yeah. Vodka! What? Wow. That item is just vodka. Interesting. Huh. Uh, uh, the, yeah, there's got dots and symbols and... Minus one and plus one. Yeah. It'll all mean something. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was, if you put that up against under here, yeah, it goes with the with the stack card yeah. in some way. Yeah, and it has it has. I think plus modifiers. one vodka calls charisma, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Robot repair kit, nice. Mm -hmm. That'll be for X six. Refreshing beverage. That's a craftable item in the video game. Cool. That that's is. A, that's yeah. ridiculous. That one because it's just like here's full health. Here's all your rads gone. Here's yeah. just everything done. I'm gonna say that is delete all radiation. Then yep. delete wound all up to six wound markers and, and delete all addictions. addictions. Yeah. yeah, refreshing beverage. It takes a lot to craft, but 
well, I say that, I ended up with a stack of like 15 of them for mm -hmm. one playthrough because I just never needed them. Hmm. Squirrel bits! 10 mil pistol, double barrel shotgun, a gamma gun, nice. and a stun baton. Nice. Oh, oh. There we go, nice little set of uh, items and whatnot in there that's all specific to them. That makes sense because she comes with a 10 mil pistol. Uh -huh. You get an institute rifle though, so I don't know where that is. Is that not in there? No. Interesting. No, that that might be else. a standard thing. Might be. Hmm. Might well be. So there we go. That's the survivor's little bundle I got. There's more. There is There is there still is more. More, more beaver comings. Yeah. There. Right. Next box. Uh, let's start with that one. Bit the bigger one. Okay. Mm. Survivor's core box. And again, more named characters in this one. Oh, God. Including your favourite. Everyone's favourite. Everyone's course, right? fucking favourite. That's uh. a really weird way to do a box. That is a uh, really what? weird way to do a box. As you do. Random packaging. Oh, there's a piece of paper at the top as well. Oh, yeah, I'll have the piece of paper. What's oh, a quest. Huh. There we go. I'll read this. Was there a heart Yeah, there was. There was one in this one as well. Whoops. Right here. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. There are, there's another scenario. Came in that one. Cool. I shall read this one as well. I'll read the other one first and then we know what the other one is. Oh, opening boxes. This is like a fucking Christmas come early for me. Okay. <laughs> Considering I pre ordered this stuff back in what? March, April ish time. Something time about time that. Ago, yeah. Wasn't yeah. It? So, in this box. Hmm. It's on the back. Oh, there's hair as well, I've just realised. Yep, so you've um, got Mama Murphy. Yeah. Uh, I'll go back to that one, because that's everyone's favourite. You have Ronnie Shaw. Who Stur was the Minuteman uh, angry old yeah. veteran lady uh, who turns yeah. up at the castle when you take it. Sturges. Hey! Good. You get old mechanic and, you know, fix her up. Uh -huh. You have four settlers, two male, two female. Um, and Preston Garvey, of course. Oh. Uh, everyone's favourite, <laughs> another settlement needs your help. General, another settlement needs your help. That's fantastic. I'm the general, go and send a squad to deal with it. <laughs> you fucker. I've been doing the past 50 ones for you. Me general, <laughs> me leader, me no do grub work anymore. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, he is annoying. I'm busy trying to do diplomatic relations with the Brotherhood of Steel to try and get rid of the Institute, you moron. <laughs> Right, standard. Uh, another pack of uh, item and stack cards. And all sorts of boosts and, and yeah, everything. What are the red ones? Got. Creatures. Oh, interesting. Rad rabbit. Kid in a kid in a fridge. Yes. I actually got that quest. Holy shit. Quality pet vendor. Interesting. Unusual noises. Draw and resolve a creature card. Hmm. Frost trap. All right. What then. was that one? She just does stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. It's like an unmarked quest. As you walk past a fridge, you just hear a kid going, let me out, let me out. Yeah, it's so funny. The kid is a ghoul and has been in there since the war. So this kid has just been hanging out in a fridge for about 220 years. Yeah. And then the quest is, oh, my parents' house was just down there. Can we go and see if they're all right, please? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Idiot. It, it's it's hilarious. stupid, but funny. In the fridge. Uh, perk cards. Merchant caravan. There's an explore card. Okay. Ah. Boosts. Just, yeah, and then items. Buff out. Nice. <laughs> Buff out is Just, best drug. Let's drug up people. Buff out is best drug. Or Medex. Medex <laughs> is also good. <laughs> I'm wondering. Oh, hello. Speaking of. My brain made a jump to the left and there was a card related to it. I was going to say, I wonder if they're going to have the experimental medic T45 power armor that was in Fallout 3 mm. that just auto-administered medex to you and shouted oh. at you in a drill sergeant voice. And then as I thought that, I found a T45 power armor card. That's nice. That has two sides. Yes, it does. Is it? Huh. Oh. I have no idea what, how, I guess they'll explain how you pick yeah, which way around get it goes. Yeah, it, depend, it probably depends on if you've got modif um, modifications on it or whatnot. So one of them is worse than the other one, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, it, might, it might be just the frame. Yeah. It might be just the power armor frame, and then once you've got the pieces on it, you get the other side. I don't know. Possibly. Yeah. We'll find out. We will find out. Weird card stuff. Feels. Uh, it's also the, the, the yeah. other. I guess it's just them just that are just. Stack cards for yeah. Mama Murphy. 
some actions for the okay. sole survivors, which is interesting. Oh, it's an actual full faction card. Okay, yeah. so it's like a quick reference thing. Yep. You've got... I'm a Marfi back. That's oh, not God. a standard stat card for her. No, it's... She's her own thing. Yeah. That's interesting. She probably gives you drugs. Well, if you give her no, drugs, she looks into the future. Yeah, she's great. crazy. And then you get AI AIs. Cards. Uh, and there's, there's the actual stack. Cards. And there's the actual ones. So you go. Yeah. I'm going to first. Bonnie Sturges. So she does have her own stack yeah. card. Okay. But there's some other stuff for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of random symbols here that I'm just, just going to have to find out really by playing a few skirmish games. Before jumping into a full campaign of them. So the smaller one that yeah. came with yeah, the companions, the, spiders, the, um, the uh, Boston, whatever, Boston, Boston companions, companions, those people. Uh, one side gets Soul Survivor, Dogmeat, and Codsworth, and the other side gets two hundred caps worth of invaders. Codsworth. Um, and the idea is to wipe out your opponent, um, but initially the survivor side can only use the soul survivor until they get within that distance of the other two characters. Oh. That makes sense. And then they activate and start using them. Because that's the beginning of the game when you leave yeah. the vault. You go to Sanctuary Hills, you find Codsworth, and then they I was go. I say, yeah. the name Sanctuary Hills sweep me name PTL. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Sanctuary Hills is literally like starting area. Yeah. And biggest settlement. And then this one, which is the survivor one. Yeah, the core box. Yep, is um, someone is defending a school, and another mm. person is attacking the school, and you have to find the books and get off the table. Nice. Huh. That's literally it. That's cute. That's that's quest for knowledge. Interesting. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and the attacker gets twenty percent more um, extra caps when building their forces. It doesn't have a like you have to use this many on this one. It just is do what you want. Yeah. That's Here's pretty the cool. mission. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Just put those back over there. Shall we? Yeah. yeah you just hang out there for the time. Right. One more box. Sweet. Final box. Minutemen Posse. So this one doesn't really have any characters or anything in it. It's just generic characters. Uh, generic. Minutemen. Yeah, just just no name NPCs basically. Yeah. But it's just a bunch of Minutemen with laser muskets. And there's another thing for you to read. There you go. I <laughs> oh, love <not> happy. <laughs> love laser muskets. They were a fucking giggle. I found a, a unique one, a legendary one mm -hmm. that was a resilient laser musket. So it was 150% damage resistance. Whilst reloading. Oh, that's so, so every time good. you go, Brrr, you just don't take damage. <laughs> is that how many far does it stack up? Like, is how many charges? You could, once you put a full six crank on it. It was six, wasn't it? Yeah. Six shots in one hit, but it would fucking, like, it would half of their health. You were just like, oh, you should oh, there's a death claw. Crouch, get the sneak attack bonus, and. Yeah. <laughs> then pipe it, yeah, it's literally hand cranked. It's a phenomenal piece of kit. Was it Brahmin you said earlier? Was Brahmin! Yeah, and the cows. Funny, you get, there's a Brahmin in this one. There you ah. go. Yeah. You just you just have you have to escort Brahmin and Benny the Merchant. <laughs> is he wearing a checkered suit? I don't know. If he is, be fucking wary of him. There we go. Standard Minuteman stack stat card. It's I just one, is it? Just for all of them. Yeah, because they're yeah. all going to roll on the same yeah. one. Cool. cool. We've got laser muskets, hopefully, in theory. Well, that's just the stack card. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm hoping there's a stack card for a laser musket in here, actually. There's Ken I just saw. Stuff. Yeah. Recruiting beacon. Nice. There's the mm. thing. There's the boosts. Orange mint hats. Combat armor. Dirty postman uniform, alarm <laughs> clock, mole wrap meat, Ugh. laser musket. Yep. Yes! Thank God that that card's in there. And a machete. Cool. Yeah. So there we go. There's, there's a squad of Minutemen. There's some characters. There's a lot of characters. And then there's yeah. all of the starter set. Shit tons of cards. Yeah. And a lot of reading. A lot of reading. <gasps> so Final I think one. the Plus one. best way for us to go about doing this is let's play these scenarios. Yes. Yeah, because that gives us something that gives us more easy a box to work in, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Before before, job. I mean, I have a campaign idea. I have a, a, a decent yeah. number of the I things mean, I need. I need some more of some other stuff, but you know. I mean, for for that, 
You're going to have to read that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to read that one. I'm going to read them as well, but then I want you to read them I'm to double check the things that I misread and misunderstand. I, I, I am I'm official rules lawyer. Yeah. You are. Or actually, I think I think a term I saw the other day that actually makes me think of it better is a rules traditionalist. Someone uh. who just wants to try to stick to the rules as much as possible because they think they think it's more entertaining for everyone if the rules are followed. Uh. As opposed to a rules lawyer who argues certain points and doesn't let it go because they're a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've always that makes sense. I, yeah, rules lawyer has always had a negative connotation yes. to it to yeah. me. Yes, yes. So when you go, oh that person's a rules lawyer, you're like, okay, never play a game against them. Yeah. Yeah, they will. They will nitpick. It won't be fun. Yes, they will nitpick and argue against the things that are necessary. So a video I watched that explained it better. I was like, okay, I am a rules traditionalist, not a rules lawyer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I just like the rules because the rules make sense. They're more so. like guidelines, anyway. <laughs> Says the, the, the creepy ghost voice. Um. <laughs> so, uh, next step is buying a whole new load of paint to get to. Get these guys to look good because I mean yeah. I've got I like like some of my paints I've got currently will do do the job but I know with certain things like Preston's coat is such a weird color of beige mm. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to look into how like um, World War Two um, British Eighth Army in the Desert mm. are painted because it's gonna be the same color beige basically. I, I don't suppose it has like painting ideas on the back of those boxes, does it? It, no, actually, no, 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 it's just telling you no, what's I, in it. Yeah, I can already tell from here that it doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't. Just supplied unpainted. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, um, the other challenge is going to be doing the rust for all of these pipe weapons. Yeah, the, because mm. uh, the, they're basically made of like shitty bits of wood and like rusted copper. Mm. Well, not copper because that's green, but like just <laughs> rusted crap. Yeah. Just any um, junk. Put yeah, it's to just make it, a weapon. Yeah, basically. So. Like a gun. Rust is going to be that's going to be a, a fun exercise of brown and the egg death claw as well. They came in. He's going to be because like, he, 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 he's not green. Colors. He's definitely not supposed to be green. Yeah. Um, so he's going to be, be a, another odd color of brown. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to need a lot of browns. I and a lot of washes. If I, if I remember correctly, they said they did the colors because then it's really easy to differentiate what everything. Oh is. yeah, that makes sense. I, yeah. I, I like that because I mean, a T60, a Brotherhood T60 suit is basically a dull silvery grey anyways mm -hmm. and suit mutants are green yep. so they've done yeah. half the work for me yeah you know I just need to wash their skin and then highlight and do a mm. dry brush and they'll be good it's just all the equipment I'm gonna have to go uh, <laughs> and play the video yeah. game a bunch to get back at yeah so make sure I've got the color palette right <laughs> all the pictures <laughs> now play this video game yeah. for homework purposes fuck off <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh crap, why I was meant to paint that. Why didn't you edit the podcast, Wynn? Uh... <laughs> no, they don't mean much, but I do want to add, it's like, fuck, they added a whole bunch of these. <gasps> mm. That's genius. Helpful packets. Modifious, you clever bastards. <laughs> that, that's actually really helpful. <laughs> yeah. Just to keep everything You can store things properly. Yes. Seven. <laughs> Whatever that is. I that's a one or a fail. twenty. That's that's a one. Oh, well, that's a twenty. twenty. It's yeah, a twenty. That's, that's, that's the, the bad roll. That's a, a failure. That's remember. a complete failure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's, that's everything. It. That's all of the shit I bought. Um, it's a lot. Fantastic. I'm, yeah. I'm very much looking forward to putting this. All, that might be re the rest of today, to be honest. Is putting it all together and having to read through the rules. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest. My plugs mm. do the rules. On, I think they, they do, do free. PDFs yeah. on the Modifius website. There are free PDFs cool. of all of these. So you just get in your these other models put together, so you can actually properly see what they look like. Yeah, if if, if people on. want, I can take pictures of them and then we can put them on the Instagram or something. We can do that. Yep. Post show. Yeah. It's interesting how it's done actually. I just saw that. So Preston has none of his arms on, but uh, what's her name? Ronnie Shaw's Ronnie. got one of her she's arms. She's got her arm already no on, but no hand. It's just really interesting. But her one arm's not. Yeah. So how? I mean, I mean, that's just that's just miniatures. That's being yeah. Used. miniatures. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the way they're casted, the way they're sculpted, mm. whatever makes most sense to um, reduce miscast and whatnot. But there we go. Yeah. That's everything. Um, cool. Pretty much. Thank that's you very gonna much. be fun watching actually, just <laughs> and playing. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure. think what you need though, as well, which would be you know eventually, is uh, buildings. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to get yeah. terrain. All of yeah. this talks about terrain. Yeah. It all talks about terrain, so I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Because you're gonna have line of sight. I know they do do building everything. sets. They yeah. do building sets. I'm I'm hoping that in here or this one maybe it will talk about what sort of terrain you should be using. Yeah, but I mean it's not like you know we can source terrain from all. I mean we can use the 40k barricades for fuck's sake. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can make you can make use of stuff. I just yeah, I'm just I'm hoping that's gonna be like this is what you can make use of or this is what you should be using sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Plus. Um, there's companies like uh, Foreground that do mm -hmm. uh, wooden laser cut buildings mm -hmm. that are like, you can just buy a pack of three and you just cut it out and it just slots together. Yeah. Exactly. There we are, building, and you can yep. easily break it down again afterwards. So yep. for, uh, that might also be in my near future for my wallet as well. Maybe Institute as well. Not that one. That was my original plan, actually, was like when we were talking about doing this as like a, a second 40K. I was going to have an institute force and just come the and institute. just spawn synths around you. Yeah, and like boom, 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 boom. That'd be cool. Yeah. That one over there, that folded one needs buildings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it needs the hill. It needs the, the, the houses. Yes. There we go. That's all future problems. And future yeah, I'm, I'm, potentially. Uh, I'm a happy bunny. Yeah, sure. I'm a happy bunny. I've got shit to build. Um, Thank you for that plastic. <laughs> I mean, that was the fact that already came in that, but this is... Uh, that's very helpful. But cool. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I have no better term for it. Uh, okay. Stay tuned for stuff on this. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, Fallout Wasteland Warfare. That Fallout one. Fallout Wasteland Warfare by <laughs> Medicus. <laughs> Goodbye.